Hey everybody, John Durante over at the Jackson Realty Group coming to you once again with your tip of the week from sunny Florida. You know, I got a, a video that came across my desk this morning and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's really very important. Now I want to say this, I am not here to make any sort of political statements one way or the other. I am just presenting some facts that came across my desk this morning and wanted to share it with you. It has to do with um, the settlement that the 49 states attorneys general and a handful of banks uh, came to about a month ago it's 23 billion dollar settlement over over the uh, robo signing of mortgages um, that's been going on for the last couple of years now this was touted as about a month ago it was touted as a huge um, slap on the wrist for the banks lots of major fines are going to be handed out things are just going to be horrible for the banks they're just going to come down on them and, and just make them pay for all the bad stuff that has happened in our economy. Well, what I have found, and this video, I stuck a link to it right over there. It's an 11 minute interview uh, that Bloomberg Law um, ha held with two gentlemen who are very knowledgeable about the situation. What I found was there are five banks, it's a $23 billion settlement, but only $5 billion of it is in cash. The rest of it is in credits. Um, and it's only going to affect about 5% of the of homeowners who are underwater. And that's it. So basically you're talking about probably about 500,000 homeowners that this is going to, that, that will be eligible actually for this. Um, one of the other things too is that a company called Allied Bank they actually had their fines lowered because they could not afford to pay them. And the reason why they couldn't afford to pay them was because they paid out dividends to their shareholders. I, I mean, it's just some, some crazy, crazy stuff. I don't even know how to put it into words, which is why I posted the, the um, interview, the video interview right over there. You got to check this out because I mean I'm at, actually at a loss for words as to how unfathomable this is. And if there was any question about who is actually running this country, I think it's been cleared up. <laughs> because this, it's just crazy, you know. Wells Fargo, as as it says in the interview, Wells Fargo is still continuing the practices of robo signing in certain cases, and. The government's just letting it go. They're saying it's okay. You know, the, uh, 1%, they're saying 1% is okay. That could be up to 10,000 homeowners who will be illegally foreclosed on. And the government's going, ah, it's all right. Nah, it's okay. We're okay with that. Crazy stuff. Now, that this is the reason why we at the Jackson Realty Group, well, we think that the market is going to continue to be the way it is for a while because of things like this and it's just very important that you guys are aware of this situation so again I stuck a link to the interview right over there 11 minutes long I highly recommend that you watch this um, just to get an idea of what's going on out there now listen if you or you someone you know is in the market for real estate and you're looking to get information like this on a regular basis, this is what I want you to do. I want you to give myself or Steve Jackson a call. There's our contact information right over there, phone number, email address. Give us a call, shoot us an email, let us know what you're trying to accomplish. We'll be happy to meet with you. Absolutely no obligation whatsoever to you. If you're not ready to meet with us just yet, go check out our blog up there. Lots of great information, and as, as well as you'll find that video on our blog as well. So go check that out. Well, that's going to do it for this week. As always, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you right here next week on your tip of the week. Have a great week, everybody.